A vigil tonight in Davis is honoring victims of the recent mass shootings across the country. The gathering happened as the investigation continued into today's shooting in Tulsa. KCRE 3's Melanie Wingo joins us right now. She's at the Davis Central Park. So Melanie, tell us a little bit about the turnout there this evening. Well, the event is over now. It only lasted about 30 minutes, but several dozen people did show up here to Davis Central Park for the event. So it was a very well attended vigil. This gathering was organized and attended by elected leaders and advocacy and community groups from the area, including Representative Mike Thompson, the Yolo County District Attorney's Office and the Mayor's Office. June marking the start of National Gun Violence Awareness Month. So organizers invited people to attend tonight's vigil specifically to remember the lives lost in the most recent mass shootings in Uvalde, Texas and Buffalo, New York and the event happening the same night. Of course, as you just heard, we learned of another shooting in the United States, the one in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which was mentioned during tonight's event. We don't realize, I think, the scope of, of the problem that we have. And so I think having an event like this to sort of really take a moment and reflect on how awful these things are. These shootings don't have a regional boundary. They happen all throughout the country and they are affecting the lives of, of thousands of people every single year. I came out here tonight not only as a Californian but as an American citizen. My entire life I have watched gun violence tear apart not only our communities but our schools, our places of worship, our hospitals. We can't continue living like this. Glad that we're here tonight. Representative Thompson saying an estimated 30 people in the U.S. die each day in incidents involving guns. Also at this event, interfaith leaders spoke and then there was a moment of silence observed. Reporting live in Davis, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3.